Hello, my name is Irina. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate through version 3.0 of Pitbull Tax software. Our goal for this version was to improve your experience and create user-friendly interface. When you log in a first time to Pitbull Tax software, you will see this page. We call it the home page. Uh, when you are located on any other page of the software, whether it's a data entry of the form or the calendar or invoices, uh, you can always jump to the home page by clicking on the logo in the top left corner. In the top right corner, you'll see your name, the date and time. And if you hover your mouse over this arrow down, you will see section with your personal information that you can update if necessary, change your password, update your billing details, view your license information, when it expires, what type of license you have, uh, you will have option here to upgrade or downgrade. Uh, under orders, you can see your uh, previous order history. If you have a multi-user account, you will be able to manage all your users of your license right here. You can also cancel your account and sign out. Now let me go step by step and explain what uh, you can do in the blue menu bar. Starting from left to right, the first option is clients. Uh, in this menu, you will be able to access your list of individual clients and business clients. The next menu is letters. So to open any letters that you create for a client, you will go to this menu and select the one that you need to work right now. The next one is email. So you can send email from Pitable Tax software and attach any forms uh, that are prepared inside the software and any other documents that are either generated inside the application or uploaded by you uh, from your computer. If you need to resend uh, or view what has been sent, you can open the sent items. The next one is files. Here you manage all your documents. You upload your documents. You download for viewing. Uh, you can uh, see uh, here uh, and export files if necessary to your computer. So your document management is located under files. The next option is case management. So case management is our former client relationship management and accounts receivable add-on. So in this version 3.0, it's now called case management and billing. And you can find it in this two items in the blue menu bar. So on the case management, you can access the calendar, your activities, to-dos, case tracking, time tracking, the new feature, the dashboard, and the history. Under billing, you will be able to see transaction list, create invoice, receive payment, issue credit, access recurring transaction list, and generate billing reports. The next menu item is settings. Here you can access everything that is needed uh, customization. So if you want to ca customize your activity types or billing settings or calendar settings or any other uh, settings, including representative center, uh, you will go under the settings. And under the help menu, you will find uh, different video tutorials like this one. Uh, you will find a copy of our Terms of Use and Software License Agreement and also information how to contact customer service. Next is the gray menu bar. In the gray menu bar, you will see your client's name that you are currently working with. Uh, underneath the client's name will be his or her cell phone number for easy access if you need to contact your client. The next one is check mark. The check mark is a shortcut for step-by-step -step workflow. Uh, 
This is a new feature in version 3.0. And if uh, you need to navigate to this step-by-step uh, -step workflow, just click on the check mark icon. And if uh, your step-by-step -step workflow will be your home page, you can also click this to return to the home page. The pencil icon is for editing a client. So if I want to update, let's say, John Smith's uh, address or add a new phone number, I would click on pencil and uh, go to his profile. The next icon is for adding a client. So by clicking on this icon, you will be able to select what client type you want to create, whether it's individual or business, and go from here. The next icon is print. So clicking on print icon will get you to printing any forms that you're creating or documents uh, created inside the software. And the last icon in the gray, gray menu bar is for time tracking. This is a new feature of case management and billing add-on. So from any point, any page of the software, you can click on this icon and your time tracking section will open up automatically where you can enter what you're working on and start the clock. To close this out, just click once again and it will collapse. Then we have two arrows, left arrow and right arrow. So in previous version, it was uh, a little bit uh, difficult to remember what page you were previously on. And um, you asked, how can I access the page that I was just working before on? So in this version, you can easily use back and next page buttons to see where you worked before. And uh, the last section in the gray menu bar is internal revenue manual search. So here you can enter any key phrase or keyword and it will search for you the entire internal revenue manual. So now I'm going to explain what you can find in the left menu. The first item in the left menu is individuals. By clicking once on this menu, the list of all your individual clients will open up. Uh, you can click on the client search and enter first few letters of uh, the last name or the first name or any other information in that client's profile, like phone number or social security number, if you don't remember the client's name. And the client will be selected for you. So to close out individual's menu, just click once again and it will collapse. The same way the businesses work, so you can search your business clients and close it out. Then we have tools section. As you know, in the previous version, we had uh, various tools uh, that have been upgraded in this version, and I'm going to explain you how. The first tool that you will see is client questionnaire that you can send electronically to your client, and they can electronically complete uh, the data that is required for you to prepare collection information statements. So those of you who use Client Questionnaire before, you know that it's a very comprehensive tool and uh, helps uh, saving time tremendously. The next tool is client Case Diagnostics. The Case Diagnostics is a tool that we had in version 2.0 that was called Pitbull Tax Workflow Wizard. Now we have renamed it to Case Diagnostic. So every time you create a new client, the software will prompt you to go through Case Diagnostics in order to determine uh, what resolution is uh, best for this particular client's case. The next tool is Resolution Evaluation. This is also a tool that we changed the name for.
In previous version, it was Pitbull Tax Express Evaluation, or PE2, as you may know it. So resolution evaluation now has option to not only evaluate the offering compromise um, eligibility for a client, but it also has installment agreement and currently non-collectible cases um, evaluation. So now it is called resolution evaluation. The next tool is IRS transcript delivery and reporting add-on. This is a new feature in version 3.0, and you can access it from this section. The fee calculator is also renamed from previous tool Pitbull Tax Fast Fixed Fee Calculator. So now we simplified it just to be a fee calculator because I cannot even pronounce it. So. Uh, you can access the new and improved fee calculator. And by the way, uh, now you can customize customize your fees in this calculator. And uh, please watch a separate tutorial on how to do this. The next tool is Scenario Simulator. This is the same add-on as we had in version 2.0. And uh, the improved feature of Scenario Simulator is that now it has a comparison chart of your scenarios. Then you can access Internal Revenue Manual and uh, search through different sections of it. All your searches will be um, highlighted in yellow, so it's easy to see uh, which documents uh, pertain to your search best. And the last option here is IRS publications. Here you can find uh, all IRS publications that are connected to the collection issues. The next section is forms in use. So here you will see all forms that are relating to this client. To, so John Smith is my current client that I work with. So all these forms are used uh, for his case. If you see, some forms have a red circle with a count of errors in it. So this is a similar what we had in version 2.0 for client questionnaire. So now you can enter the data in the forms and you can miss out on mandatory fields. However, if you didn't enter mandatory field value, it will be counted as an error. So you can easily identify that your form needs some work. And uh, when you click on the form, you will see which pages exactly have errors. And the last section here is other forms. So any forms that are not used for this client's case, you can find it here. So every time you create a new form and you start entering data for a client, it automatically moves to forms in use. Otherwise, if the form was never uh, prepared for a client, it will stay under other forms. So now let me go back to the home page and explain you uh, this main page with step-by-step -step workflow feature. Under here you will see again the client's name and how many steps have been completed for this particular client. So this feature will help you to uh, organize uh, your case better and uh, know what steps to follow. A lot of new practitioners entering the tax resolution arena, they are not sure how to work this case. So this step-by-step -step workflow will help you to, um, to prompt you what um, action you need to take next. So from creating a client to sending a client questionnaire, uh, preparing power of attorney, and so on and so forth. Some steps, uh, statuses, will be automatically uh, changed by the software. For example, if you create a client and you saved it, the software will automatically say that this step is completed. But some steps, like, for example, uh, preparing a form, 
uh, we are not quite sure what uh, information would be required because each case is different. So you can change the status manually. Just clicking on the arrow down and select a proper status. So this is uh, in short how the step-by-step -step workflow works. Next on the right, you'll see a calendar. Uh, from here, you can easily create your calendar events. Just double click on any date that you need and uh, enter information for your calendar event. Any um, events for today or tomorrow will be allocated under the calendar so you can see when you log in first time that you have certain events for today. This section can be undocked by clicking on this yellow button. And if you have uh, a lot of room on your monitor or you have a double monitor, you can easily move it to any um, place. So no matter what page you're working uh, on inside the application, you can view your calendar. And to close it, just click on close. The same undockable section is for to-do items. So you can click to undock it and move it to any section. Under that, uh, you will see all news and updates. These are posted by the mm, system administrator, and you usually receive them as email notification. But for some reason, if you need to look through the archive and uh, read the latest updates, you can always find them here. And in the bottom right corner, you see this yellow rectangle, uh, yellow section. Every time you have some reminders or some new items uh, like calendar events have been assigned to you, uh, have been assigned to you uh, you will see this uh, reminder pop up. So just click on view and you will see that you have four tasks that are still uh, require um, completion or your calendar events that you can snooze so you can open and view the details. So this completes the navigation tutorial. Thank you for watching.